welcome to Hashtag Trending with me, Fabs. I'm here with another edition of Hashtag Trending, a show where we show you what you have found most engaging on social media. And here are some of the more trending stories of the past few days. And like in many of our previous editions, we start with a story of unnecessary shootings and abuse of power. Another unarmed black man has been targeted. Stay with me. Anger and violence have taken over Kenosha, Wisconsin, after a black man was shot multiple times in the back, right in front of his children, by police who, ironically enough, had been called to deal with an argument, which the poor guy was only trying to break up. Do you see the irony? Anyhow, I don't really know what the man done to deserve this, but if shooting at him was the only option, couldn't the officers at least shoot him in the leg? Anyhow, here's the video of the shooting. I think some of you might find it hard to watch, so you need to look away right about now. Wow! The exact video that you just watched touched off violent protests instead of fires and riots across Kenosha. Let's check out social media and see how it reacted to the story. We start with a tweet by Emily who wrote, one of our CBS crews on scene in Kenosha says, this car lot and a nearby building were burned following the police shooting of Jacob Blake. Around 50 cars were destroyed. Check out the video. I don't know how you describe this, anarchy or frustration. To the next one, Kitten wrote, an officer was knocked out by a brick thrown by a rider in Kenosha. Enough is enough? The hateful narrative about our police needs to stop. These are fathers, brothers, sons of someone. Here it is. Well, the black men who are shot by police are also fathers, sons, and husbands to someone. Anyhow, to this one, PDX Law Girl wrote, In Lafayette, Louisiana, police shot and killed a black man who was walking away from them. You will hear that the man allegedly had a knife. That in no way can justify this killing. Check out the video. Come on, we, we, we got to witness this. We have to witness. Put the window out! Put the window out! Put the window out! Put the window out! He got a knife. That man got a knife. They gonna shoot him. No, we got to wait. We got to wait. Get on the ground. They tasing him, he not even doing nothing. He goes fast.
The coronavirus outbreak has affected almost every aspect of our daily lives, including our religious practices and rituals. Just check out how Muslims around the world are mourning in the month of Muharram while strictly observing health guidelines and social distancing protocols. <laughs> Don't know if you've heard this yet, but Israeli army has been carrying out almost daily attacks in Gaza, and air raids has been its go-to move. Well, Israel says that the attacks have been in response and retaliation for the launching of incendiary balloons from Gaza Strip. To me, the punishment substantially exceeds the crime. What do you think? Well, I have said this before, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and rephrase myself again. I think empathy is the only way to break this cycle of violence. But again, who am I to say anything? Let's check out social media's reaction to the story of Gaza and Palestinians in general. We start with a tweet by V Palestine. Israeli occupation forces stormed al Makassid hospital in the occupied Jerusalem Al-Quds firing a number of tear gas canisters inside the hospital. Check this out. Well, in my own experience, hospitals are a place where you cannot even speak loudly, much less like thrown around tear gas canisters. Anyhow, to this one, a Palestinian family living in a cave in a small village in the occupied West Bank city of Jenin is facing the threat of demolition by Israeli authorities. Here's the video. I didn't know that caves can also be demolished by authorities. This is something new. To the last one, Shahab News Agency wrote, Israelis display Arab characters and dolls as a target to kill in the game of paintball in Netnya city. Check out this video. California is burning again in hundreds of wildfires that were ignited by thousands of lightning strikes and worsened by record-breaking heat. I always thought that global warming was a hoax, Mr. Trump. On that revelation, we should end the show now. Don't forget to check us out again next week, same time, same frequency, same everything.